I am Stephen Laurie. I am a professor of psychiatry in Edinburgh and I'm a consultant psychiatrist in Edinburgh. And in my clinical work, I look after patients in general adult psychiatry with a slight bias towards psychosis. And I also run a diagnostic service for people with autism. And in my research practice, I primarily do brain imaging with some genetics as a means to try to predict schizophrenia as early as possible. But I'm also involved in some clinical trials and take quite a role in the career development of young psychiatrists as well. And so I have been interested in evidence-based medicine, I think, since pretty near the beginning. I remember myself and John Geddes in the department in Edinburgh in the early 1990s poring over these evidence-based medicine articles as they emerged month on month from JAMA from about 1992 onwards. Um, and um, I suspect partly through John's uh, enthusiasm, but very quickly I saw the importance of this to my mind. It seems critical that doctors are aware of evidence as it comes out and use the best available evidence to treat their patients. And uh, I've been involved in as many initiatives as I can to support what is sometimes called the evidence-based movement, although I don't particularly like that term, um, over the past 20 years or so, it seems very important to me. And I think perhaps even more so in mental health than in the rest of medicine, where some of the evidence isn't that great. We perhaps lack evidence in some areas more than other parts of medicine. And I think most of all, our practitioners pay less heed to evidence than they should. I think all research is interesting, pretty much. And I encourage every everyone I meet practically in, a, in the clinical setting to do research because I think it enhances one's job. It gives you intellectual stimulation, sometimes rewards, um, and uh, I think it is personally and, and, and career enhancing, obviously. And I think it's important because that is the way that clinical initiatives do develop and it's how they should be developed rather than being prey to fashion and what somebody says works and following that slavishly, we should be basing our practice on the best available randomized controlled trials. And I think new initiatives like brain imaging and genetics, particularly in schizophrenia, which is my main interest uh, or my main experience, they are really promising, very promising now. They're at a stage where I think within the next 10 or 15 years, we could be using these techniques routinely in clinical practice to make, or at least inform, uh, objective diagnoses of psychiatric disorders like schizophrenia and other major psychiatric illnesses. And I think that would be a, a major breakthrough for psychiatry in general. So what are the key um, texts that all trainee psychiatrists should, should read? I think number one which is one of the very few books of any sort that I have read several times, is The Role of Diagnosis in Psychiatry by Robert Kendall, written in about 1975. It is remarkably clear in its writing about a very complex subject, and actually what he said 35, 37 years ago is as relevant today uh, as it was then. And I'm currently writing a review article on diagnosis in psychosis for Lancet Psychiatry, and I'm constantly referring back to, to the wisdom of Bob Kendall. So I think that book should be re recommended, in fact, required reading for all psychiatrists and, in fact, all mental health professionals. In terms of uh, articles, well, I'm influenced by people on the editorial board of Evidence-Based Mental Health, and I'm going to say that there were two very important meta-analyses of treatments we routinely use in psychiatry published in The Lancet recently, and I think all psychiatrists should know the size of the treatment effects that they use when they're prescribing antidepressants and antipsychotics. And they should know roughly some kind of, have some kind of information that they can share with patients about the rates of adverse effects. And so I'm going to say that the two most recent articles that all psychiatrists should read are the Network Meta-Analysis on Antidepressants by Andrea Cipriani and the equally brilliant meta-analysis on the sides on the uh, on the comparative effects of antipsychotics by Stefan Lucht, both published in the Lancet recently.